framework tutorial series. Today we're going to be covering getting started and updating your project. So a pretty short, quick video. Shouldn't take too long. As soon as we finish this video, though, our next video, the following weeks, will cover uh, all the tutorials that you can find on the website. There will be links in the description for all of that. And we're going to cover them as closely as possible and pretty much finish out where the demo finishes. So if you saw the introduction video and you watched through the entire thing, you see that I pretty much just play through the demo, sped it up for time's sake. So let's just jump in, get this done, and get started. Okay, so when you're starting a new project, you know, project name, put it wherever you want to put it, and these settings don't really matter. You can change these right in here. As you can see, I already have a project open that I'm just going to save over. So we'll just start 3D because it's going to be that anyways. You can import the asset here. However, since we're going to go over the details, we're just going to do it within the project. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, there we go. Brand new project ready to go. All right, so unlike a lot of assets, the ORC framework is installed into Unity a little bit differently, right? So you don't normally you just go into your assets and then import a new asset and it comes up with that whatever you're going to use, right? You can also go in through the store to get whatever you're looking for. But what we're going to do is the way that the Orc framework works is you go in and you import a custom package. So you don't install it through Unity. You actually email the package through the developer, right? He sends you updates, which is good because you get your updates slightly faster than you would if they were going through the asset store because Unity has to approve everything going through there. So we're going to uh, install a slightly older version. Just double click on that. Give it a second. Save all that stuff. All right, uh, make sure everything is selected. You need all of these things. Use a gizmo so that when you're in the world, this sort of thing right here is what a lot of these are, right? They're all just symbols that you'll see in the world to know where your event systems are and your spawners and your scene changers. Let's go ahead and import that. Do, 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 oh, huh. short elevator ride. Okay, we now have it installed. So you'll see that you don't have a lot of information in here at the moment. If you're looking for anything really, you're not gonna find it yet. Nothing's really occurred for the Orc framework. doesn't recognize anything's happened. To get that started though, to really get the project going, you just need to go right in your window and open up the framework. Save all. Yep, see what it's basically doing is creating your your project now. So there you go. You now have a project to where if we just dock this guy up here because that's where I like it. You'll see now in the DLL or under DLL, you now have edit data and this little guy right here tells you the version of Orc that you started with. Don't mess with this. It's got a nice little warning here. Don't mess with it. This is the version number you want to pay attention to when updating though to make sure everything kind of goes smoothly. Also, best practice is just to double check that everything made it in. Sometimes things don't. It's rare, but it's good to be aware of that. You don't want to get through a project and start looking for something and not find it and realize that, oh, it just didn't come in through an install or an update, right? So this is the version right here that is going to update. This one will always stay the same. So what you do is when you do want to update it, you just go right up into here, assets, import package, import custom package, and we just go to our updated one, go right in here, and double click it, make sure it's all there. We don't really need this stuff. We just I just leave it checked anyways. It doesn't like install doubles of everything. So this comes with all your updated information. Import it. All right, there we go. So the framework is now updated to 2.6.2. So we're all set to get started. That'll pretty much do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.